Hello students, in the previous lecture, we have learned about polymorphism. Now, let's discuss about a process called polytypism, which is a type of polymorphism. So, polytypism is a variety of polymorphism in which two polymorphs differ only in the stacking sequence of identical two-dimensional sheets. So, these are formed generally in sheet silicate minerals. The unit cell dimensions parallel to the sheets will be identical in two polytypes. However, the atomic spacing between the sheets, that is the third dimension, C-axis, or of uh, sheets or layers, will be related to each other as a multiple or sub-multiples. So, you can have either uh, two sheets or multiple sheets. Accordingly, you will have the length of the unit cell dimension along the C-axis may vary. The sheet silicates, which include the micas and clay mineral, are an important group of minerals in which polytypism is common. Micas and other layer silicates consist of infinitely extending tetrahedral silicate sheets, the composition of which is Si2O5OH, that are stacked in various ways along the C axis. The inherent symmetry of such sheets is monoclinic system because the hexagonal symmetry about the OH group, every uh, OH group in the sheet silicates or micas, you have six oxygen atoms that can share to the adjacent atoms. So, there in the plan view, it shows a hexagonal symmetry. So, that is six directions where Si2O5 OH sheets can be stacked. These may be represented by three vectors which are mutually perpendicular 1, 2, 3 that you can name and it has an opposite direction that is the negative end of the one axis will be named as minus 1 and the negative end of the two axis that is named as minus 2 or bar 2 and the negative side of the third axis that would be named as minus 3 or bar 3 and the angle between two adjacent axes that is 1 and 2 would be 120 degree which means that for the whole of the 360 degree you divide into 3. So, let us consider in this figure which shows a schematic illustration of some possible stacking of mica in case of polytypes. As I have mentioned the OH group is shared with or six oxygen atoms and it which shows a hexagonal symmetry and each of this sheet may be stacked into different patterns. So, we have shown four type of patterns in which this mica sheets may be stacked forming different polytypes having characteristic crystal system. So, in the first case that is figure number A the figure shows three vectorial directions for four possible location of the OH group in an Si2 O5 OH sheet that is stacked above or below the hexagonal ring as shown. In the figure B, the stacking of Si2 O5 OH sheets in the same direction as denoted by the vector 1. So, you can see that the hexagon 1 is stacked on top of the other and subsequently. So, all having same unit vector direction that is 1. So, in that case, we can call it as 1M polytype, which the word M stands for the monoclinic system. The rotation is 0 degree, there is no rotation among the stacking sheets. While considering the second case, the stacking in two directions at 60 degree to each other. You can see that there is two vectors are shown along the direction 1 and bar 2. If you again look at the figure A where you can see the direction of 1 and direction of 2 and direction of 3 which are mutually perpendicular and in the opposite direction to each of these vectors you can see minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 or bar 1, bar 2, bar 3 which is the 
negative end of the same axis. So in the figure C, where the stacking in two directions occurs at every 60 degree to each other of the two vectors, vectors are represented by 1 and bar 2. So you try to locate in the uh, figure A, where is the location of the vector 1 and bar 2, which is found at the southeast quadrant of the figure A. Okay. So here you can have a stacking of 1 bar 2 and 1 bar 2 like that. Sheets of SI2 or 5 OH sheets stacking in, in a pattern of 1 bar 2, 1 bar 2 as indicated by the vector direction. So the polytypes which shows 60 degree rotation between the layers and you have a here in which you have a monoclinic polytype. Now let's consider the third type where stacking in three directions at every 120 degree to each other is represented. Here if you see the sheet 3 that lies directly above the sheet 0, the initial sheet. And in between there is sheet 2 that is of different direction. So if you may look into this case, you have three different vector directions are shown. Vector direction 1, vector direction 2 and vector direction 3. So if you look into the initial figure, all the three that is 1, 2, 3 are all mutually perpendicular. So the, the stacking of the layers occur about at every 120 degree between each of the vector direction. The angle between 1 and 2 is 120 degree. The angle between 2 and 3 is also 120 degree like that. Between the direction of the vector is what I am trying to say. So like that you can have different layers may be stacked in different manner forming different types of polytypism corresponding to different crystal system. The polytypism involves different patterns of stacking of identical sheets. So let me put it into another way. The symbols used here are adapted from those used in the sheet silicates. The number in the symbol indicates the number of layers per unit cell. So in this case for A the letters indicate the crystal system that results for example for orthorhombic OR is orthorhombic and M is monoclinic. In case of first figure, one OR polytype with a single stacking vector at right angles to the sheets. Here, if you remember the direction of the vector from the previous slide, here all the sheets are arranged in a single vector direction. So you can call it as one OR which is orthorhombic. If you take two OR polytype with two stacking vectors with opposite signs. Here the vector direction is the opposite direction or you can name it as 2 or polytype. Whereas in case of the third type which is one monoclinic polytype with a single stacking vector at an angle to the sheet. So this may be called as 1M polytype which is of monoclinic system. Okay, So with this we complete the process polytypism. Thank you.